Carlos, what were you able to do so well when you got into trouble today? You know, I think locate my pitches, and that's what happened. Uh, I think I got trusty in the beginning, and um, I could handle, you know. And um, I think made the right pitch. Um, I got good uh, sequence in there with uh, James. Um, I think my slider was good today. Getting a couple ground ball right there for double plays. Um, you know, everything was fine. Everything was good, man. You mentioned the double plays early on when you have that double play overturned because of the catcher interference, but the run comes off the board. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking in that moment? Are you are you happy the run's off the board, or would you have rather had the two outs? There? You know what? Um, Whatever happened right there in that situation, and I'm just looking for a uh, ground ball to get a double play. Um, I know we got the double play and the run get in there, but uh, so okay, let's get in again, and and that's what happened. That's what we did, and uh, and then we saved that run. You ever had two double plays in one inning behind you before? The same inning? <laughs> no, I think actually this is the first time. <laughs> yeah, but it's just great, man. What was it like at the end there? Just the way this game. The entire day from the from start to finish with the ceremony in the beginning and the way this game ended, what was it, what was yeah, it like? Yeah, well, it was kind of a little bit crazy in there. Uh, like I said before, um, I got a little bit of traffic every inning, and uh, I'm happy for the way we handle every, everyone. Uh, my teammates, the one they get in behind to do all those uh, plays in there. Um, I think the more importantly, we won the game. That's what, that's what we're looking for. Tomas, how would you describe that last inning? Um, I don't really know. It happened so fast. Uh, I was just, uh, you know, I like to say that we're never out of it. We, we always like our chances, especially uh, with men on base. So, uh, you know, we just uh, it went our way and uh, we took advantage of it. When you hit that ground ball up the line, are you thinking even if he gets to it, that's that's one that you could beat out? I, I saw that he wasn't playing down the line, so when I saw the ball was going closer to the line, I, I thought I had a chance, and he, he didn't really, uh, I guess, attack the ball. So uh, I felt like I had a shot even if he caught it, but uh, when I saw that the ball kind of was going away from him, I, I knew uh, something good was going to happen from there. When you look at how the game ended, maybe the biggest play of the game was your pickoff of birdie at second base. That, that's something that we've seen you do a decent amount. Just. What goes into a play like that from start to finish, just thinking about it and obviously executing it? Um, I feel like we're taught in the minors uh, to always throw the ball. You never know what can happen at the other end of the ball. And uh, that was one of those situations when I picked it. I know the guys usually are, are one step going in the direction towards the next base. And even though he was able to get back, uh, you know, give him a chance to make a tag and make something happen. Uh, you know, that's uh, kind of what's about giving each other an opportunity to make uh, something happen. Uh, was that regarding throwing behind the runner at second or just throwing behind the runner in general? Uh, just usually when there's a, it's a pick, when the ball hits the ground, yeah. usually you're taught to try to uh, take the extra extra base. And, uh, you know, that's where I kind of try to capitalize uh, on those picks and, and usually catch the guy uh, going in the other, other direction. And on that one, even though he kind of went back, maybe it played a factor in, in him getting back and not being able to stay on the back. Yeah. What is just kind of the satisfaction of when you're able to do something fundamentally sound like that to help the team win the ball game? It might not be the flashiest thing, right? But like it. Yeah, um, I think it's huge because a team like ours uh, going into extra innings uh, that keeps them at one run, and uh, we were able to tie the game, and and then uh, Nemo uh, got the job done too. First of all, on that, uh, on that pick off birdie, it's something that Obviously, Nito has become pretty adept at, at doing. Just mm -hmm. what is your responsibility on that play, and, and what do you see him do so particularly well? well? He's been so aggressive um, as of late, and he likes to run into the bases. Uh, my responsibility is just to make it to the base and keep it in front of him. Um, if it's a bad throw, if it's a good throw, then I'm tagging him. Um, it was a great um, throw by him, you know, especially late in the game, keeping the ball low. It's always the way to do it. Um, Fortunately enough, we got the out. When you hit that home run, mm -hmm. A, were you thinking that it was out the way that you watched it before it hit the pole? And, and B, just you know, had a pretty incredible reaction to it. What were you feeling as soon as that, that thing hit off the pole? I don't, I, I wish I could pimp home runs like the way some of the guys do it. It's not in me. Um, I stood at home plate, I just watched the ball, hoping it was going to stay fair. I was like trying to bring it back, and the pitcher was trying to 
take it out and I just hit the pole and then after that it's just emotion takes over you know I, I never want to disrespect the game or anybody it's just, um, just my emotions you know it, it, it's fun it's one one I mean two to one and late in the game you take the lead it, it's it's fun that's what I play for for sure you and Buck have both talked about since the spring that, that you know the fan base wants to embrace you. Mm -hmm. what, what does a day like today tell you about how the fan base embraces people like like Keith? Oh, like, uh, like Keith? Oh, I thought it was on, oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> how it could I'm embrace them, you? I'm giving them something to cheer me on. So no, no, about Keith. Uh, his first of all coming out coming out here and turning the French the Frenches around. I mean him and his teammates. It's it's not an easy task. Um, him doing that and then taking over baseball and winning the championship, it says a lot about him, you know, and how, how much he hustled, how hard he played, uh, all the go gloves, you know, people people like hitting, but when you're playing good defense and you pro you probably saved a lot of errors uh, of yeah. his teammates picking baseball at first, it says a lot, you know. Um, and what he said today in speech, coming out here and being an example as a, as a better player, uh, he embraced that, and he definitely showed. You know, I think uh, how he said it. The next step is Hall of Fame, God willing. When you see something like the reaction to him, though, does it show you what it can be like of course. here if if you guys do something of, like of that? Of course, of course, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Your question, yeah, it's it's fun. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful to see. Um, I play a lot of games here already. Um, that's been one game that I come out. 60 minutes or 45 minutes before a game and it's already sold out. That, that was fun, you know, to see that, see him walking in the blue carpet, seeing the gold base, he's seeing the whole ceremony, seeing his family celebrating um, his day. It was a big day for him and his family. And seeing him not knowing what to say for the first time, <laughs> it's, it's fun. It, it is cool, it's special for sure. Did you... Uh... Take as a compliment what he said about you guys. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, having a guy like that backing us up um, says a lot. You know, he's, he's telling everybody, support us, get behind us. Uh, we have a good team, and that says a lot. You know, he's he's been on good teams, he's been on bad teams, and I'm sure he knows what a good team is. But it's also, you know, he's talking about the, how hard you guys play. That's something that seems to be something that was instilled here right from day one this year. So yeah, yeah. Like? I mean. It's, the front office box mentality is pay attention to details and go out there and respect the game and give do whatever it takes to win the game. You know, um, so we go, we all go out there and try to give our best for for Buck and, and everybody else. What do you think of Pete's mustache? Man, that's <laughs> 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 he works for him. So I, mean, uh, I like the stir up stuff. Stir ups, pants up. That was, that was that's that's nice right there. Stop. The mustache. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Keith without the E? <laughs> nah. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> What was it like winning like that today? Um, it's just kind of the, the game that it was. Uh, there was a lot of uh, weird things that, that happened during that game, but. Um, um, yeah, I guess to win that way is just uh, how the game was going. And so um, glad to get a W. Um, you know, it was a, a long, hard-fought game. So, um, yeah, really, really glad that we were able to come out on top there. When you have the tapper back to the pitcher, mm -hmm. what is the thought process as that unfolds as it did? Well, uh, you know, once I hit it, obviously uh, disappointment when I saw him get the, the glove up there. but. Then I, I saw him bobble it, and uh, you know I was already at like a step into uh, going to first, and so I just said, "Well, all right. I mean, let's just put all the pressure we can on him." And you know, I normally run hard to first, so I didn't really have to do anything different, but just uh, just really try and, and put the pressure on and, and, and run as fast as I could to to maybe just make the the situation um, get the best of him there. So. Um, that's basically what I saw. Once I saw him bobble it, I didn't see anything else. I just put my head down and ran. Um, and then uh, I saw the ball going by me and uh, and was happy that Nito scored and, and we were done. We, we won it. Brendan, what makes this team so good at taking advantage of other teams? Take? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of guys that have been around for a while, um, a lot of veteran guys that understand that, 
you know, there's going to be mistakes made uh, over 162 games. And so, um, you know, if, if we can capitalize on them, um, then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll usually come out on top more often than not. So, um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is just understanding, you know, that, that baseball is not played perfectly all the time and, and looking for those opportunities to take advantage of. Um, you know, so we were able to do that a couple times today. Is there a certain pressure to win on Keith Hernandez Day? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you'd love to, you know, a sellout crowd. Um, and, and, you know, obviously with the ceremony, the beautiful ceremony we had before, uh, yeah, you, you want to be able to um, win on that day, you know, and, and show the fans, you know, why they came out and uh, that this team, you know, Keith even mentioned us in, in his speech and, you know, you wanted to um, prove him right and say this is a team to be reckoned with, you know, so, um so yeah, definitely wanted to wanted to try and pull this one out, uh, especially with what went on beforehand. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Side on the uh, the Keith tribute. Uh, the boys wanted me to shave uh, and have a mustache, and then I was like, you know what? If the boys want it, I'll give it to them. <laughs> so they wanted me to do it, and I was like, all right, yeah, I might as well. I'm the first baseman, so. Uh, I saw Keith in the tunnel prior, and he, he got a pretty pretty good kick out of it. So if uh, if I'm going to do the mustache, I might as well do the stirrups thing as well. Pete, you know, Buck was talking a little bit about just what witnessing a day like today can do for, for a group to realize what the fan base is like when, when a team wins, when a person contributes the way that, that Keith did. What did you take out of witnessing that ceremony today? Uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed it and obviously well deserved. I mean, Keith was a was a huge part of that '86 team. But uh, the one cool thing I thought he brought up was uh, was prior when he got traded over and then um, when he came over, he got a, a good sense of the guys and the and the chemistry and the camaraderie. So obviously, you need that in order to, to develop a championship culture. And um, what he said was um, kind of parallel to what we have. We have chemistry and. Um, in the clubhouse and we have talent so um, it's, it's really cool to see kind of some parallels. You have as good a sense of this franchise history as anyone it seems. Uh, what kind of a link do you feel to Keith just as you said at Mets first baseman? Um, I mean obviously Keith is in the booth and uh, I don't really talk to him as much regarding like technically for advice and stuff like that but because he he's a guy that has to wear multiple hats but um, I, I, I'm pretty pretty well aware of, of what he means and I mean, he means so much to, to this organization and um, especially for um, past players. And he's just super entrenched in one of those guys when you think of um, Mets players in the past, uh, like greats from the past, obviously set number 17 rings a bell. Were you thinking about the synergy at all when you hit that home run? No, I was just hoping for a pitch over the middle of the plate. I mean, um, I mean, the ceremony and stuff like that pregame, it's, it's a wonderful moment, but um, when you get down to competing, it's focusing pitch to pitch, out to out. And honestly, I was just hoping for a ball over in the middle of the plate, being on time.